Aladdin and His Wonder Lamp was released in 1906. It is a French film. It was directed by Albert uh, Capilani. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> it's based on, of course, the famous story that we all know, and actually it's pretty accurate to the story that was written. Seems like any more Hollywood wants to go in all directions, but this one stayed pretty accurate, which was nice. Um, Albert's brother is in this. Unfortunately, there's a very short cast list, and the only one that we know who they play is the gentleman who played Aladdin. But we know that Paul uh, Capilani, who is Albert's brother, of course, he was also in this, but we don't know who he played. So, um, now there are special effects in this film, and they are used to show the lamp's magic. At, I think the first point, that, if I remember correctly, the first time you see it, he's of course in the cave, and he rubs the lamp, and then you start seeing faces on the walls and everything. Yeah, it's... It, <laughs> The special effects are wonderful. And um, this is a hand-tinted film. The, the colors are vibrant and everything. This is, this is the thing is, um, I don't see the name Albert Capilani very much with like special effects and, and that sort of thing, and, and even with hand tinting. And I kind of wish I did after watching this film. You know, usually we hear about George Malez and, um, there's another one that I'm completely blanking on, but it seems like they were the two big names in France that did hand tinting and the special effects and during this time of silent film. And Albert Cavallani, when you watch this film, it's like, well, why was he overlooked? <laughs> and Because uh, I, I enjoyed watching this film very much. So anyway... Um, there's special effects, and it's used for the lamp's magic. It is hand-tinted. I was impressed with the um, tinting work that was done. Um, Albert's brother is in this film. Unfortunately, we don't know who he played. And this was released in 1906. 